the first message that I got when I was shuffling the cards is um, it's time for you guys. You're finally feeling like you have regained your balance. This can be financial. This can be emotional. This can be physical. So I feel like for many of you, it's all three. Um, on the emotional front, I feel like there has been a situation where you're surrounded by people. You know, you're, you're surrounded by people. You get along with people. People generally really like you. And I feel like, um, I, I feel a situation where for the past few years, it feels almost like you have outgrown a lot of people in your life. And you're looking for that resonance. You're looking for like an emotional connection. Okay. And I feel like with, uh, with Scorpios, you're really, really good at interacting with people from all walks of life. They don't have to be like you. They don't have to be, you know, exactly like you, but you still can form that emotional connection with them. But I feel like the relationship sector, friendships, uh, co-workers, significant other, even family members, you just feel as if everyone has been kind of self-serving. Um, and you also feel like you're there for them, but they might not have always been uh, there for you. And so the give and take has been very unbalanced. And I feel like you're finally able to kind of come to terms with this. And you're able to say like, you know, I'm not resentful for them for the way that they are, but I need to kind of learn to hold back my energy. So it's a really, really enlightened spiritual way of looking at a situation and looking at how uh, the dynamics within a relationship. And it takes a really big person to kind of detach their ego from it and say like, I'm not resentful of you for being the taker. I just need to be smarter about who I give my energy to. And I need to be smarter about how much I give so that people respect my boundaries and that people don't expect more of me than I'm able to give or more than I'm capable of giving. So I feel like that is an emotional rebalancing within yourself. I feel like in love and relationships, um, many of you have let go of a significant relationship. And I feel like, well, I have here the five of coins. In this depiction, it's sort of like the person who has... Um, who has moved away from a karmic relationship partner and all of those um, invitations that are coming through all of those gestures all of those hands are offering her pentacles you know new opportunities but I feel like she's weary of getting hurt many of you have left a significant relationship behind where there were a lot of pain and heartaches and I feel like you're looking to branch out again, but you're definitely a lot more discriminate about who you branch off with. For some of you, I also feel like you're looking for this, okay? The Ten of Cups. And you have a significant person in your past, Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And this is somebody that you thought, you know, would be the, the, the future. This is somebody that you thought would provide this emotional fulfillment for you. But I feel like with the Seven of Cups, it's a fantasy, it's an illusion, and it's not really founded on reality. And a lot of the times, too, you know, when we are, when emotionally we're so invested in something, we want a specific outcome. And we don't look at the reality of the situation. We look at our emotional wants, and we try to kind of... Um, it's almost like conjuring things based on what you want to happen rather than based on the physical signs and the reality of what is happening. And so you're coming to the realization that too, that you need to be a little bit more practical. You need to be a little bit more grounded. And because of that, it's, it's allowing you to look at things from a different perspective. And it's allowing you to focus your energy a lot more on self-care and it's allowing you to focus your energy a lot more on things that are more practical, more grounded, and more stable. For some of you, I feel like you're, you have shifted away from a, an ex and you're moving into a relationship with a new person. The new person 
I have here the King of Wands. This is a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. This is somebody who's very affectionate. They will let you know how they feel about you. They will hold your hands. They will touch your hair. They will tell you that you look good, you smell good. They will be very, very affectionate. You know, they will hug you. They will, like, let you know. You will know where you stand with them. They take initiative to come to see you. And they always plan activities so that the two of you can be out together. Um, so I see a fire energy, Sag, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. This is someone who's very passionate about you. And they're also, you know, willing to fight for you. They're willing to defend your honor. And they're willing to kind of, um, they're not afraid to get their hands dirty in order to attain you. Okay, not that you're an object, but I feel like they... They're very clear about their intentions for you. So you've got somebody who's really, really, really interested in you. And I see them sending you messages, um, giving you invitations, telling you to hang out with them, telling you to go out with them. And you might be in a state where you're very much caught up in past relationships, um, ruminating over the past. And you might be not be ready to allow this new person into your life. So I feel like some of you are healing. And there's something new coming into the picture, but you're not really, you're not ready emotionally. You're not ready. Um, I see some of you too are a little bit afraid of getting hurt, afraid of feeling rejected, afraid that, afraid that, you know, it's too good to be true. It can't be real. So there's that element as well. Um, I also feel like you have a lot of strength and love and support coming through from relationship partners. So if there has been financial hardships, you have a lot of love and strength and support and even financial assistance that's going to be coming through. Um, I see some people who are in school and they're struggling to pay tuition. Okay, I see some, some, some of you in school and I feel like, um, I feel like you're, a person that you like or a person that you are involved in, they're going to, not that they're going to pay the tuition for you. They wish they could. If they had the money, they would because they really care about you. But they're going to show you ways, you know, like, oh, apply for this scholarship, apply for this grant, apply for this financial aid, apply for this loan. They're going to show you and they're going to walk you through the process of how to alleviate or how to um, take care of, you know, that, that payment. I also see financial windfall as well, financial assistance coming through. Um, I see some of you having to like uh, downsize, okay? Downsize. So if you've been through like a separation or a divorce, you might have to downsize to an apartment, like leave a home to move to an apartment. Or you have, you know, multiples of the same thing because you used to be in a relationship. So there were two of you and there were two of the same things. And now you might... Uh, be in a position where you're selling the possession. So for example, you might have a car, your ex might have a car, and now both of you have two cars and you don't feel like you need two cars. So you might sell one. Um, so I see a lot of like yard sales, garage sales, getting rid of things, selling things, and recouping quite a bit of cash. So this is a card about financial windfall. This is clearing out of a home. The tower here in the reverse is clearing out baggage and luggage and stuff like that. And the Ten of Coins, a lot of stuff that's accumulated over a long period of time. And we have the Hangman appraising, assessing the value of something. So I definitely feel some of you might even be selling property and moving to an apartment or moving into a different dwelling or, or even another house. And so there's a lot of opportunities here for financial windfalls coming your way. Um, I also feel like there's a lot of movement in this spread. So if you are far away, you might be thinking about relocating. You might be changing property. You might be changing house. You might be changing jobs even. And so there's a lot of room here to get rid of um, stuff, get rid of um, excess baggage, get rid of things that you don't need so you can travel a little bit lighter. Okay, so don't let your possessions rule you. You need to control, have control over your possessions. So maybe it's time to, you know, sell these things. 
Um, I see a lot of people that have recently gotten out of divorces. You might have your ex's stuff and you're, you're selling them because you don't need them anymore, not because you're resentful, but you're definitely selling them and getting quite a bit of cash back as well. Um, what I'm also feeling is um, there's a message here about being in a place. It could be like a city, a home, a work environment, a place, being in a space or a place that you've been in for quite some time. And a lot has happened in this space, a lot of sadness, a lot of grief, a lot of drama, a lot of arguments, a lot of bad memories. And so the universe is kind of telling you, you know, you need a change of scenery. You don't have to do anything drastic, like don't move to another country, don't move to another continent. Don't, you know, sell your house and um, live out of your luggage. Don't do anything drastic. But really think about how energy affects our environment. And really think about trapped energies. Okay? So if you're in a home that you used to share with somebody, for example, in the most extreme case, somebody who was emotionally or verbally abusive or even physically abusive, and they're no longer in that space, but you're still occupying that space. So everything around you reminds you of that moment in time where you felt scared and helpless. And so that's what I mean by trapped energy. Okay? Trapped energy. You can burn some incense. You can burn some sage. You can keep the fan running for it to kind of permeate all through the house to cleanse that space. But what I'm really feeling is a need for a physical change, mainly because every time you look around your space, it reminds you of that incident. It reminds you of that specific moment in your life that was not very good. It was like a really low point in your life. And you need a change of scenery. So that message is for those of you who are contemplating but are too afraid to take that next step. You need a change, okay? Um, the Knight of Coins. Scoping the horizon, looking around, wanting new opportunities, but not really acting, not doing the research, not really understanding or feeling like, why do I need to move? So I hope that message resonates with you. You need to move because the environment that you're in reminds you of the past. Every time you look around, every time you, um, it, it's, it's almost like you've done a lot in that situation. You've been everywhere with that person. And so everything that you do, rem, everything that you do on a daily basis reminds you of that person or that situation. And it's not really serving you to kind of live in that time capsule and so there's a need here to move away. There's a need here to pursue something new. Page of Pentacles. Go where the opportunities take you. And don't be afraid, okay? So you see all of those things that are pulling him in one direction? That's your guide. Those are the, um, the spiritual energies around you trying to lead you to your rightful path, okay? So there's a lot of movement that needs to happen. There's a lot of clearing up old energy and there's a lot of letting go, sailing away from a very troublesome situation here with the Six of Swords. Um, every time I see this card, I think of the, 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 the blue and the red on that swan, on that bird, and it looks to me like bruises. It looks to me like, you know, possibly being in a relationship with somebody that might have been physically, verbally, emotionally abusive, especially physically abusive, even to themselves or to you. And so a lot of the times, you know, um, Scorpios, you guys have a lot of inner strength. And I feel like a lot of the times you need it, mainly because the relationships that you get into are very intense you and the Aries, you need intensity in your relationship in order to feel alive. That's what it feels like to me. And um, intensity is not always a good thing, especially if you're dealing with someone who's very emotionally up and down. And so you need to clear out this energy, okay? 
Uh, let me see if there's anything else that's coming through before I go. Um, I feel like we are coming into a space, once again, of regaining your balance. And this is greatly about your emotional balance. And um, I feel like you might have distracted yourself with other people, surrounding yourself with other people. And what you really needed to work on was learning to find this emotional balance within yourself. So gone are the days where we go out and we party and we stay up until dawn and we, you know, drink the night away. Those days are gone. We have the magician here where you are not only, not, you're not talking about things anymore. You're actually doing things. You're actually taking concrete actions and concrete steps to move yourself to a space of emotional um, security. And we have as well the Ace of Swords. You're still at a point where you are formulating the plans. You're making some changes. And I feel like you're creating that blueprint for yourself as to how to move forward. Okay? So you have some beautiful energy here. 